Too often I hear my students in business and communication courses tell me they just aren't very creative people. It doesn't take much effort on my part to prove that that just isn't true. So let's take a look at the challenging process of creativity, taking a blank page or computer screen and crafting upon it an effective and appealing piece of communication. You may think you have no creative abilities whatsoever, but as we'll see ahead, there are tactics to stimulate a creative project that all of us can use, including how to better understand the basics of production and media selection. Simply learning some of the vocabulary and concepts of the creative process is a big step towards your project success. And as observed by management expert Tom Peters, creativity is a high demand skill, especially if you can develop your abilities and bring them to the table, coupled with an understanding of challenges a company or society might face. It's a common lament. Everyone wants to be a leader, but there are too few able to create new and innovative ways to convert problems into opportunities. And as with so many other aspects of business success, much of the creative process simply begins with understanding the customer or audience you hope to serve. As management author and educator Peter Drucker said, once you have done the research and intimately grasped the needs, hopes, fears, aspirations, the mindset of your audience, your creative message may well start to write itself. An advertising agency owner says his most creative works come from an effective blend and overlap of criteria. First comes the research, the critical gathering of information about the target audience, the product itself, and its place in the competitive marketplace. Then comes an understanding of the production requirements for an advertisement. Perhaps it will be an artistic glossy ad in a travel magazine, or a quick glance billboard message, or a highly visual and action-packed commercial for primetime television. And then finally, he brings in a creative spark of an idea to ignite the message development. Right there in the middle, where the intersection of research, production, and creativity all overlap, there is the sweet spot of a successful advertising message. On the next slide, I will share some useful resources to help you find your own sweet spot in creative message development. Some of these topics are covered in other videos I've posted as well. You can find detail on how marketing appeals can help win the attention of an audience, often overwhelmed with a barrage of daily messages. And there are suggestions on how to develop messages that connect across multiple cultures within regional and global markets. There are many experts in the field who generously share for free some of their best tips for getting a job done. And you can find lots of materials that cover production issues and media choices. And here are some of the pages you can start with. You can find more in-depth resources at the links posted here, which may also lead you to my course pages and the materials I provide my students through universities in California. For now, good luck with your creative efforts, and we'll see you next time.